Well, hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video. Today I am sharing with you my entryway. We'll be decorating it for the holiday season and I will be sharing four different looks with you just to give you some ideas, some inspiration and a little bit of variety of what you can do in your space. As always, I am keeping things very simple, very neutral, yet very cozy and festive at the same time. So if you are ready, then let's go ahead and get started. So before I get into look number one, I want to give you a quick overview of my entryway. This shoe cabinet is one of my favorites. It's from Timu. This mirror and these sconces are also from Timu. The rug is from Amazon. I'm going to leave all of those items linked down below in case you're interested. But before I decorate, I decorate, you know, four times a year. So with every season. So I want to make sure that I dust everything, clean everything for the new season. That way I have a clean slate. And even though nobody really touches my mirror or nobody really touches my candle sconces, they are so dusty. Over the months, they collect a lot of dust so I'm gonna take a couple of minutes to quickly do a wipe down and then I'm gonna go ahead and get started with look number one now one item that will not be changing throughout all these four looks is this wreath on my door this wreath here is from Hobby Lobby and it's one of my favorites I love that you're able to customize it dress it up dress it down do whatever you need to do to make it look good in your home so in my case I'm all about simplicity I'll be adding this beautiful bell as well as ribbon to tie it around this wreath and I'm gonna hang this and create a really beautiful bow and this is just gonna be a great base for me to complete my other looks Now getting into the styling of my shoe cabinet, I have these really beautiful candles. These are from World Market and I'm going to place them here by my mirror. I think this is such a great way to add some festive touches. It's very simple and very effective. side I'll be placing my seagrass vase as well as some of these really pretty stems. I love that these have berries on them and it just adds so much texture and well I usually like to incorporate many different stems but for this look I want to keep things so simple and so clean so adding just three or four of these branches is perfect. So this picture right here went absolutely viral. It's from Hobby Lobby and it is so beautiful, but I wanna dress it up for the holiday season. And the best thing I can do in order to achieve a different look is to add a beautiful ribbon. Now I just glued this on. I can always take it off if I change my mind. And this really is such a beautiful picture, but my kids broke the glass, which I'm not mad about because now I am able to change out this artwork. So I did go ahead and cut out a piece of print that I've already had and I just squeezed it inside. And this is the most easiest way to change up this print for the season. On the right hand side I'll be adding a combination of books and I'm placing my most favorite ceramic trees. These were from my local grocery store a couple years back and they are definitely one of my favorites.
for this next look, I will be bringing in a couple of my favorite books as well as this viral Walmart planter. And while I love to use this as a vase, I will also be bringing in this small Christmas tree from Hobby Lobby. I do not love the base of this tree. So of course, the most simple way to elevate it is to place it in a new pot. And I feel like this completely changed the look. Right next to it, I'm bringing in this really stunning candlestick holders and then I'm bringing down those Christmas tree candlesticks. I'm placing them here and they just create such a beautiful and whimsical look. On the right hand side I'm bringing in my large thrifted jug and I'll be placing in that same tree but in a larger size and I just love this look. It looks like it's foresty, it's very whimsical and definitely screams winter. Right above I'll be placing these beautiful burgundy candlestick holders to complete the look and this is simple but really cute. For my next look, I am leaving the candlesticks the same as well as the wreath like always, but here on the right hand side, I'll be bringing in this beautiful book. It looks so good with my rug, so I love to use it here in my entryway. And I'll be bringing in this beautiful vase from Home Goods as well as a combination of different stems, combination from Timu and Hobby Lobby. So I am going to be placing this stem right here and I'll be looping a bell right around it. I love to put bells on my vases for the holiday season. It just adds texture and it makes my vase look a little bit different and stand out just a little bit. So I'm going to place it here and then of course I'm going to add my Timu stems. These are amazing as well as my Hobby Lobby stems with the berries. All right, now this look is extremely maximalist. So I'll be placing this print right here as well as a smaller print right ahead. And the reason why I call this maximalist is because, well, there's just a lot of stuff here, but I think it works and it's really, really cute. So I'll be placing a couple books on the edge right here, adding a really pretty scalloped marble dish and placing a candle right on top. Now, this look is over the top, but I still love it. For our last and final look, I am bringing in a book as well as this amber glass vase and I'm placing some winter stems in here. Again, I'm keeping things very simple, very sparse, very minimal. To that I'm bringing in this beautiful frame from Home Goods and this really cute print that of course I added a bow to.
here next to the picture frame I'm just bringing in a single book and I'm bringing back my Christmas trees this time I'm placing three over here and this completes this little trio I felt like I needed to add something else to complete the styling of this look so I'm adding my travertine tray right here and placing some pine cones. Now some of these are real my kids picked up from the playground and some of them are fake but I love the variation of size and color and well and I think this really made my entryway cozy. That wraps up today's video i hope that you enjoyed let me know which look was your favorite i did branch out a little bit did include some more maximalist style if that is your thing nonetheless all of these looks were so beautiful so festive and it's very very simple to do again pull things from different rooms in your home give them a new place that automatically makes them feel brand new thank you so much for being here i hope you enjoyed today's video got some ideas and i will see you in the next one Thank you.